Hello YouTube people. Um, this is a video response to a question I got about the other tutorial video I did with layer masks and uh, that similar type things in Mega Studio 5. Uh, what I've done here is set up what hopefully will work as a gradient mask. It's a little complicated. It's going to be some fiddling to get to. It doesn't work like the layer masks. You can't just put a mask on something and then put a layer, uh, put a gradient into the uh, alpha channel. It doesn't quite work that way. But here's a nice workaround that does seem to function hopefully the way you need it to. What I've got set up here is a little four layer document. Uh, on the top layer here I've got just a piece of art that I did uh, with a background. It's no, uh, it's no alpha channel or anything like that. Underneath that I've got a standard gradient, just black and white. Actually black to transparent, which is kind of important. And you can see, underneath that I've got some scriggled lines just to have a background to see through. And the paper is also colored so we can see that as well. I'm going to turn all these layers back on again. They're all set as normal right now, no special layer uh, blending tricks or anything like that. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is select the layer that I want to be clipped by the gradient, the layer that I want to be masked by the gradient here. You notice the order is the gradients underneath that layer. It's really weird, I know. But they've got this function here called clip at layer below. And if I click that for this, what happens is this layer, the top layer, becomes clipped by the layer beneath it. Meaning the gradient is now clipping this layer. And they seem to be totally independent, but you'll notice if you turn the gradient layer visibility off, the top layer also disappears. So they are linked in some kind of way. <laughs> I'm not sure how you would describe it exactly, but um, they're associated that way. Now you can see all the way through down to the very bottom layer with this mask, um, which means that this would probably need to be the last, the bottom layer of your, uh, or next to bottom layer of your uh, document. If you wanted to mask through to this red stuff here, which is transparent, you'd, you'd be able to do it just like this. Also you can see through to the paper though, you need to recognize that as well. If you're using white for a background or whatever it is, that probably won't be a big deal, but just so you know, it masks all the way down to whatever you have. Like if I put another layer in here, put it there, give me a color other than that, and something we can see, it masks down to that too. So every layer beneath the gradient is going to be masked through too. Pretty much like you'd expect, right? Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> These layers are also still totally editable. You can throw a mask in there, a regular kind of mask. Um, just like we did before, you can paint with transparency on that mask and it'll cut through the gradient layer. But in this case, since the gradient is being used as a mask itself, it also cuts through whatever the gradient is masking. So you can adjust it that way. You can also put a mask on the art itself and get fairly same effect. Except what you do here is you're masking through the art and you can see the gradient underneath. So that works like you would think it would also, but you get some strange results if you try to. So what you need to keep in mind is once you associate the artwork with the gradient and you want to edit any visibility, you need to adjust the gradient, not the artwork. Um, hopefully this has helped answer the question. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions or if this wasn't clear enough. Thanks for the comments and uh, keep watching. I'll put more videos.